when a man is tired and a man is done with you um yeah <clears throat> there's no crying there's no shouting there's no pouting that you can do to make him care again especially when he has cared too much in the past and also especially when you are the type of chick that brags about being a mm, strong independent boss um i don't cook, cook i don't clean, I don't but, let clean me tell you, I got this but i still got that ring type of chick right see universally right and y'all like the video share the video and subscribe universally when it comes to men in general they are looking for a woman especially when it comes to a wife that is going to honor them and respect them as a man right not try to throw all of her uh success and all of her accolades in his face and act like you know she's just this prize and she's just this queen and this princess and he's merely there to serve her and from what i gathered okay and i could be wrong but from what i gathered um cardi b as it pertains to offset very much so carried around that i am the prize energy she even not too long ago went on this rant talking about you know how much of a bad b she is and how she could have any man that she wants why because my pee is so good and y'all know what that is and because you know my body is so botched and beautiful you know let her tell it her aunt body is given okay and uh, no shade no tea i'm just saying what she said in so many words right and so i'm pretty sure over the years of constantly hearing his wife this is not a girlfriend this is not you know, just a baby mama, your wife. Over the years of constantly hearing your wife pretty much um, place herself on a pedestal above you, rub it in your face as far as how much better she is than you, how she's helped you, how you're nothing without her. I'm pretty sure after so many years of having to deal with that and tolerate that and hear that on and on, Offset got tired. It's been how long? Since what, 2017, 2018? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Offset is tired of hearing Cardi B um, talk about how much of a, of a strong independent boss chick that she is. I'm pretty sure Offset is sick and tired of Cardi B being so insecure, always thinking that he's creeping and sleeping and cheating with somebody. And we get it. Offset has a, a track record. But when a man is trying to turn over a new leaf, especially after you forgave him, let's go there. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Especially after you have forgiven him and you've taken him back in, a man does not want to constantly hear about, oh, um, you're probably still cheating on me and who you calling and who you texting and who you dealing with. Like, look, if you're going to have to do all of that to continue on within the relationship or the marriage, you know, you might as well just break up because no man wants to constantly deal with that. And over the years, I'm sure this is me just being a, a, a divine game peeper. Okay. I'm pretty sure Offset got tired of it. And so now what we are seeing is Offset reach his wits in with everything. And now he's on his, you know, nonchalant, I don't care, it is what it is type of vibe. So a few days ago, Cardi B has a meltdown breakdown on Instagram Live, I believe. And shout out to the Impressive channel. I got this clip from her. Um but she had a, a breakdown on Instagram Live, I believe. And she's pretty much crying out for her husband to give her attention, 
right? To kiss her behind because that is what she's accustomed to him doing. And now Offset is like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. You think I'm creeping and cheating or dogging you out? So, okay, cool. I'll do that. And word on the curb is um, Cardi B cheated on Offset first this time. Okay. And I, I said this time. That's the word on the curb. Okay. Word on the curb is, you know, Cardi B wanted to go out into the streets again and she started creeping and cheating on Offset. And so now he's kind of like, oh, okay, since you want to do what I did in the past, you know, two can play that game type of energy. But that could be a rumor. That's just hearsay. I'm just going based upon what uh, Offset posted. And so I don't know, just speculation, okay? But that's the word on the curve. And so now that Offset is uh, playing the cheating game better than her, or being the player, right, that's better than her, now she wants to have this meltdown. This is what I'm gathering. I could be wrong, but this is the, the clues that I put together for myself, right? So from what I understand, yes, Offset was a cheater. Offset was out here in these streets, you know, even while Cardi B was pregnant or freshly had the baby, he was dogging her out, right? That happened. But Cardi B took him back. So once you take somebody back and you forgive them, what happens after that is on you, especially if you're going to continue to stay. So um, I'm guessing Offset tried to get his stuff together, get his act together, you know, and then Cardi B, Maybe she started to feel herself a little bit by getting all these, you know, botched BBLs and, you know, ribs taken out and everything. And now she wanted to play uh, Offset at his own game. All right. So when you have that going on, allegedly, all right, toppled on top of that with her always rubbing it in his face that, you know, she's the star. And he's nothing without her. And she's this boss chick. And she's so strong. And she's so popping, right? In my opinion, okay, that was the icing on the cake for Offset, which is why now he's back on, again, you know, his big bully, all right? To where, yeah, I'm about to be out here playing and pimping and, you know, doing what I used to do since you're trying to pull a me on me now. Again, I'm just speculating, using my divine peep game energy and intuition. And, yeah. And Cardi B is upset because in the past, when she used to kind of go at offsets neck and talk about how she's done with him and all of that y'all remember how he tried to apologize to her back in the day And he went on stage and everything and tried to apologize. And she was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm done. No, get, take your ish. I don't want it. See, Cardi B was used to Offset kind of kissing her behind, you know, especially when he messed up. But now it's looking like, it's like, you know what? Been there, done that. This is the same old routine. And so again, now he's checked out and done and Cardi B can't take it. Let's get into it. And again, y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yo, 
I really don't like doing the internet. I really, really don't like doing the internet. But the sad is, stop calling me. Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to, yo, really like to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself because of your album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I'm up yet. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your and it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't say it seriously. Whoa, that was a lot. That was a lot. Now we can hear it in Cardi B's voice that she is extremely hurt. She's extremely upset. She's angry. Like she has a lot of built up just fuel and animosity against um offset and again could you all hear what she said she said after all of these years of me helping you right me uh holding you down you didn't pretty much kiss my a tell me thank you bow down to me and all of that now let's be clear you all cardi b and offset helped each other Correct me if I'm wrong, but in the beginning of Cardi B's uh, career, Offset was the one helping her to navigate when people were out here trying to take advantage of her and finesse her. He was the one like, oh, no, baby, don't sign that contract or, you know, let's go this route. So I really don't like how a lot of these chicks will be out here trying to make it seem like they were the only ones in the relationship contributing absolutely not cardi b offset definitely helped you in your career as well you know maybe behind the scenes now on the front lines in the public eye maybe you helped promote a song or you hopped on a, a, a track or you promoted an album and congrats to you but nonetheless let's not make it seem like you know offset didn't have your back and i'm pretty sure that is something that caused offset to be like you know what here you go once again, trying to make it seem like you're the one and only star. You're the only one contributor. And, you know, you're just so perfect and so innocent. And you're not. And that's trash. Yes, Offset was a, a piece of ish in their relationship throughout their marriage. Yes, he was cheating on her left and right and everything. However, when a woman makes the conscious choice and decision to take to take that man back you cannot then you know try to retaliate on him by cheating on him back you cannot then try to you know hold that against him no move forward do not progress on within their marriage or relationship with a bunch of insecurities because if you're going to do that you might as well just break up but nonetheless this is what happened from what i gathered from what I gathered, Offset and Cardi B decided to progress forward and move forward in their relationship despite all of the infidelity. And over the years, she's constantly, in my opinion, from me just peeping game, she's constantly brought up the fact that you cheated on me and now I got to make sure you're not doing this and now I got to make sure you're not doing that. And all of those insecurities carried over into the present and after a while of constantly being accused of cheating and, you know, sneaking around and just having tricks up your sleeve, like that can wear and tear on anybody. Okay. Especially when you're dealing with a chick that also feels like she made you. When you were essentially popping before her, which is why she noticed you to begin with but again we're going to leave that over there 
So Cardi B is out here having a meltdown and breakdown and all of that on Instagram live talking about, you know, he don't listen to her and you don't pay attention until I take it to the internet and all of that. And in my humble opinion, that's because, you know, Offset is pretty checked out. Now, again, in the past, he used to give it some play. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. He'll send, you know, 15 dozen roses over to her house, you know, buy her a new car, whatever. But now, when a man is tired of your antics, he's tired of you constantly trying to point the finger at him and point the blame on him, trying to use the past against him, always being insecure. Now, this is what Offset is on. Don't start nothing, worry about nothing. But we going up, man. We go down in the building. Fuck negativity it's all positive we push it forward <laughs> we push the people you know what I mean I got an announcement soon regarding tour working all logistics out man y'all come fuck with me happy birthday to me it's how the fuck we coming outside listen you did what I'm saying yeah we pushing everything we pushing man look at that I'm sitting off if you ain't got that motherfucker I mean I'm popping it on now I'm doing what I need to do. Sizzle, what's happening? Know what I mean? The summer is mine, nigga. Yeah. I got about 30,000, 30 seconds. I just want to tell you, it's my day. Today's my day, man. Today, tomorrow, next three weeks, man, my day, man. Birthday kid. You did what I'm saying? We want to fuck up. Sagittarius, sad season. You know what I mean? They try to stop you, but they can't stop it. The motion key going. No, sir. You did. Whoopsie. Did y'all hear that? See, in case y'all didn't know, Offset recently had a birthday, right? And all of the who's or, or who, right, are at his party in Hollywood, right? Everybody in Hollywood came to his party. Uh, I ain't gonna say everybody, but he had some some heavy hitters that pulled up to his birthday party. And guess who was not in attendance? Yeah, his wife, Cardi B. So right after her meltdown, I'll say it's like, you know what? I'm now worried about her and this drama, this soap opera BS nonsense that she's been doing for all these damn years. I am going to focus on me, my own success, my own birthday. And yeah, we're going to focus on positivity. That was his response. His response to Cardi was no response at all. He completely ignored her. This is what happens when a man is tired of your nonsense. This is what happens when a man is tired of dealing with the low vibrational, strong, independent, insecure woman. When a man is done and checked out, that's all he wrote. He has nothing else to offer. He has nothing else to say. It is what it is. Take it or leave it. Y'all heard him. He said, it's all about me. I'm focusing on me. We going up. Go cop my new album. See, this is what happens when a man is really in his bag and really in his element. It's all about how he can uh, evolve and grow. It, he becomes way more fixated on his purpose than pussy. When a man is really in his element and he's done with a female, especially one that has always tried to discredit him, whoopsie, degrade him, make it seem like she was the best thing that ever happened to him. Yeah, after a while, it's like, you know what? I can do better. I will do better. And this is why we have Cardi B breaking down and Offset coming up.
And I hate that for them. I really do. I hate to see a, a, a married couple disintegrate and break up and, you know, go their separate ways, especially when they have children. Um, so I really do hate that. But at the end of the day, if a female is doing nothing but bringing you stress, if a female is trying to distract you from your purpose and the things that you need to be focused on, yeah, you, you just got to get rid of her, especially if it's going to, it's been an ongoing thing. Nothing is changing. This is the same old tune from 2017. You know what I'm saying? And so after a while, it's like, okay, been there, done that. We're obviously not going anywhere. So it is what it is. And that's the point that Offset is at. Cardi B is having her breakdown and Offset is having his breakthrough. And let me also say this, and y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's some real talk. I don't know if you all have been peeping this, but when it comes to Cardi B, she has really been playing the background a lot. Now, she'll pop out every now and again, you know, with maybe Megan Thee Stallion, or she'll hop on some kind of feature or something like that every blue moon. But Cardi B kind of really fell off. And so I'm also thinking that that also is contributing to Offset kind of being done with her because let's not get it twisted, you all. A man can always appreciate a woman that is not lazy, that is not stuck and stagnant, and that is not, you know, just trying to coast and strictly live off of him. And, and that's the energy, I'm going to be honest, that I have been getting from Cardi B. And I'm pretty sure that is uh, weighing a little bit on Offset because when he got with her, it was like, oh, you were this vibrant, you know, hustling type of chick to where you were, you know, in the spotlight and you were a goal, a, a go getter and everything of that sort. You know what I'm saying? Like men can appreciate that, especially if that is what attracted them to you in the first place was your hustle, you know? And then all of a sudden you get with him and then you start slacking and falling off. It's like, well, damn. You know, your edge is gone. That energy that you have is gone. Men feed off of us being able to, you know, get up and be vibrant and move. No, no, no man was a, a lazy, slacking, stagnant woman. And I'm going to be honest, that's what I see Cardi B has become. All right. You can't go from being this hot girl, you know, to where... You know, you're in the spotlight and you're out here and you're all about, you know, making a way for your family and making a way for yourself. And then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, OK, well, I can just, you know, coast by. And y'all know me when it comes to a woman, I'm all about us resting in our divine feminine femininity. I'm all about that. Yeah, we shouldn't have to do too much. But at the same time. There's levels and layers to the conversation. No man wants a woman that is just lazy, not doing anything with herself anymore, not even remotely close to what she used to be and what she used to do. Like, yeah, all of that. So not only did you fall off, but also you have become an extreme nuisance as far as you being insecure you have become an extreme nuisance as far as you constantly trying to um, take all the credit, make it seem like I don't do anything and you're the one and only contributor like all of that. And so I won't be surprised if we see Offset with a new chick. And from what I gather, um, he already went back to uh, his old fling at his birthday party. Jade. Y'all remember her, the one that Cardi B, you know, almost caught a case for. I heard he had went back to her, but, you know, I don't know. Anyway, all I wanted to say was this is what happens when a man is tired of a woman. He eventually has to move on. And guess what, ladies? There'll be no chasing up behind you. There'll, there'll be no begging and pleading with you. There'll be no behind kissing. Oh, no, he's going to pay you dust. And he's going to level up. And that is what hurts us the most as women. When we see a man leveling up, 
the same man that we pushed away nothing like it but y'all let me know your thoughts uh opinions and feedback down below did you see this coming you know were you a man in this same type of position to where you were dealing with the female to where she was extremely insecure she fell off she stopped doing the same things that attracted to attracted her to you in the first place um uh let what else she tried to diminish your contributions and you know make it seem like she was way above you what happened with that did you go through that what did you do about it you know can you relay let us know um but y'all like the video share the video and subscribe and i'm gonna see you all in our next dope discussion much love and peace to our crown heads